morning. Hola, como te va? You guys say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are locked and loaded. Headed to. Oh, oh. Headed to. We're headed to North Carolina. North Carolina. We just arrived in South Carolina. We just did. Yay! <laughs> that girl doesn't care. So, sorry. Wash the hands. It's okay. Um, so we are obviously out of Panama. We arrived yesterday, like at four something. By the way, do not bring fruit. They got hound dogs. Okay. Two little hound dogs. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Hold on, Zai. That's okay. He can hold in the box. So they had two hound dogs at the where we picked up the our equipajes, our luggage. And so they're checking for like fruit and plants and stuff. So we had to throw away like seven apples. Um, there was one thing <laughs> they missed. And I was eating an orange that I got from the United States, okay? Um, but Orlando doesn't care where they come from. The airport doesn't care. So don't bring fruits, like, because we, we brought fruits back because we had extra fruit. We don't want to throw it away. Um, we were going to use that for our trip, our drive back. I told him, I said, you know, we're driving back. I said, and they made us redo all, put all of our luggage to this little thing, and they looked in our luggage. The third check after customs and TSA. That was the third that check. That was the third check after we got our lesson, our lesson on how to not how to care for ourselves. Sorry guys, hold on. Sorry, kid problems. Um, our sibling rivalries, our pens. Anyway, so, luggage. So that was our third check. <laughs> so, you know, you, people complain about having checks, you know, because Panama does all these checks. Well, America's doing it too, folks. And they're taking our apples. Took our apples. I'm like, I'm, I asked them, like, that's healthy stuff for our kids. But no, pack the pack the the junk and stay healthy, America. Just kill your immune systems all at the same time. Anyway, I'm done. I'm sorry, it made me very mad. I was very mad. <laughs> um, but the, one of the one of the ladies is rude. The other the other ones are really gracious. So anyway, don't bring fruits and vegetables or plants because the hound dogs will get you. Um, apparently. So that's that. Ain't nothing but hell. Side note. So TSA. On our way into Orlando, right? They go the first TSA checkpoint with check where they take all your electronics out and stuff like that. Um, I accidentally had I had a pair of scissors inside and our daughters like um like with her crayons and stuff, they missed the scissors. So we ended up throwing them away because we knew they were gonna get caught at some point. We don't want to get in trouble and then try to think we're sneaking in kids' scissors. So um don't bring, don't, don't let that happen. But it does actually happen. And then they miss one of our apples. So on this flight in, but they don't got it all figured out, folks. It's okay. Uh, but if you do have those, I would, I would um, suggest disposing of them like we had to throw her, her um, scissors away. Just wanted to make sure nobody caught us later and thought that we were trying to sneak anything in. So anything else you want to share? Oh, do not do what we did. We got off. We we, we got out. We landed at four something. Got on the road. Made Walmart or made a public stop. People were going crazy because COVID nineteen, and um, we were driving and we were exhausted and we were going to try to make it through. Don't when you arrive at four something p.m. with kids, don't try to drive all the way through twelve hours or ten hours or nine hours or five hours. Don't go past five hours driving after a flight like that. That was exhausting. It's just not good for morale or your health. So we stopped at like a Holiday Inn Express where we could get breakfast and we got it breakfast. Paria Bar which means to go, and they have like little to-go containers, which I didn't know they could do that. So we got ours to go, because we, we didn't want to be around a bunch of people with the kids. Um, and so Chris asked, and yeah, we were able to eat everything in the car and take food with us so we didn't have to sit around a bunch of people. So pretty cool there. Um, anything else you want to share? That's it. It's a long video. We're out for minutes 20 seconds. So with that said, just sharing our adventures. Here's our drive right now on 95 North. And there's a lot of cars from Quebec. If anybody out there can tell me why, here's another one. Look. There's a bunch, and there are a lot of them are really nice cars, like Porsches, and there's some Toyotas that are like, you know, older cars, but there's like Mercedes, and so if anybody can tell me, and I've even, we've even seen road, the RVs, and they say Quebec. 
and they're leaving for leaving like Georgia, South Carolina. So on 95 northbound. Yeah. So if anybody knows why, I would really appreciate knowing why there's so many cars from Quebec and there's several from Ontario as well. And no exaggeration, we've probably seen about 50 if you count the RV. Yes, about there 50. Another there's another one. See? What in the world? What is that about? Please let us know. I'm super curious. With that, there's Kusawachi. Kusawachi! Kusawachi. I think that's how you say it, River. So, with that said, folks, anything else? Till next time. Till next time. I ain't nothing but hound dogs. That's gonna be like, I ain't nothing no hound dogs. Hound dogs. Hey. I am over. If you have a hound dog, I'm so sorry. But, uh, <laughs> all right. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye.